Hello, world. So I am here today to talk to you guys about basically just my experience on Accutane and all the side effects month by month. I mean, I guess you could see that on my Instagram, but I figured it'd be better to talk about it. So if you don't know what Accutane is, Accutane is a high dose of vitamin A that is prescribed by your dermatologist and it can only be prescribed by a dermatologist. It is used to treat like severe cystic nodular acne. You can't really use it um, on mild acne. I would say maybe moderate but persistent. I've seen people use it, but you wouldn't really want to use it on anything that's like mild. So going in, I remember to my dermatologist, I did not want to go on Accutane at all. Um, <laughs> I had heard so many bad things about it. You know, it'll cause, which I know there are side effects to it, but all of the horror stories that you hear definitely made me not want to do it at all. Um, but my dermatologist assured me, you know, it's a straight dose of vitamin A. It's just like eating a bag of carrots in the morning and eating a bag of carrots at night. And so I think that did make me feel a lot better um, going into it. And so I was on Accutane for six months um, and I started at 60 milligrams. So I was only supposed to be on it for five months, but then my dermatologist decided that we should do an extra month just to make sure that, you know, everything was good, it was golden. So um, I guess I could just talk to you guys uh, month by month about what I experienced mostly it was just like your basic dry lips, dry skin. Um, my eyes were so dry. I remember I had to constantly be putting in the eye drops. And then I also had like a nasal spray because my nose would bleed a lot in the mornings because it would dry out overnight when I was sleeping. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just basically Accutane just dry, completely dries everything out. And then it shrinks your pores. I think this is what I heard, but it shrinks your pores down to the size of a baby's so that you're like physically not supposed to be able to produce cystic acne anymore. Um, okay, and so yeah, the first month I didn't have any side effects, I just had the chap lips. Second month I started to kind of get some more, I was feeling tired a lot. And then in the third month I remember I was extremely tired, but that was when I noticed that my scarring had started to fade. And I never knew that, and this sounds so weird, but I didn't know that I had scars because I had so many cysts. But then that, since they were all gone, basically by the third month, that is when I noticed the scarring and it began to fade, which was pretty cool. But Accutane doesn't really work that well on like deeper scars. It just does like superficial stuff. So anything that's like, you know, really shallow, it'll help. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, and then month four, I didn't have any new side effects. What is this thing? Uh, I didn't have any new side effects, but I did have, again, noticeable improvement with my scars. And then in month five, I didn't have any new spots. I just, I was, again, was like really tired and I was bloated. I don't know. I just remember always feeling like really bloated all the time. And then in month six, I had no new spots the whole month. Um, and then again, I was exhausted all the time and I was bloated. And another thing, and I don't know if this is just me drinking too much water since it does dry you out so bad, it makes you so dehydrated. I wanted to try to stay hydrated so I drink a ton of water. Um, but I had to pee like constantly. Uh, and I always would have to wake up in the middle of the night at like two or three in the morning just to, you know, go pee. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wasn't someone, I don't think anyone really wants to go on Accutane. I wasn't someone where I was like, I want to do this. Like, let's just do this and not try anything else. I've heard great things about this. I was like the exact opposite. Um, and I did try doing other things. I tried antibiotics. I tried, I could tell you I have, uh, Retin-A, Tazerac, Epiduo, uh, a Dappling something like every single cream that you could think of and nothing worked and because mine came so quickly and was scarring my face that was the main concern to prevent scarring so that was why I chose to do it I was also kind of at the end of my rope it was like it, no matter what I did it just kept getting worse and I was at the point where I would rather just like not die but I would rather just like I don't know <laughs> I was willing to risk it you know what I mean 
because I was so unhappy with how I looked. Um, I, I'm looking at my notes, so. Oh yeah, so each month that you're on Accutane, um, here in the United States at least, you have to do like the monthly like blood test and blood work. So I would have to go to a lab to get my blood drawn and they would check your blood levels and make sure that everything's okay, that's not messing with anything. And then you also have to do a pregnancy test each month as well, which usually is like within your blood work will be the pregnancy test. And you have to go to your dermatologist appointment. And I'm trying to think of what else. You have to do the, oh my gosh, what's it called? The eye pledge. You have to do eye pledge, which is an online, basically like a questionnaire thing where, um, where they just ask like, what two forms of contraceptive are you using? And then they ask other questions that are super basic, like, I don't know, just stuff that you would know the answer to, hopefully. Um, but yeah, the reason you have to do that is because you can't get pregnant while you're on Accutane at all. It has like a really high um, birth defect uh, ratio percentage. I don't know. It, it can cause birth defects while you're on it. But once you're off of it, you're good. Like you can have kids. I know people who have had kids being off of it and their kids are completely fine. It's just while you're on it. And I don't know why. That seems like really intense. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, no babies while you're on it. And I've also heard from people that you can't, okay, so I know you can't drink, you can't have kids, and because it can affect the healing of things, you're not supposed to get tattoos or piercings because it can make it like scar up more or something. I don't know, if you have experience with that, let me know because I didn't get any tattoos or piercings while I was on it, but that is what I've heard. Um, so, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I haven't really been on Instagram as much, I've been pretty busy, but if you follow me on the Snapchat, you would know that I have been dairy free now for about two weeks. Um, so after Accutane, I have been clear from cyst for 10 months. And then this past month, it all, like not all of it, but it did start to come back. I had one here, 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 and here, and I hadn't had any for 10 months. and. To have four in a month, I feel like is a lot. And it wasn't just like little whiteheads, it was like big cystic acne again. Like I had one on my cheek that took up the whole thing. So when I went to my dermatologist, she told me, you know, when do you wanna go back on Accutane? And I was like, huh, never. <laughs> I mean, if I absolutely had to, absolutely, like tried everything, I would do it again but I'm not just gonna jump right back into it, you know, with all the side effects and everything. Just because it worked good one time doesn't, woo, doesn't mean that it'll work good again the second time. Like you never know what's going to happen. Um, and I feel like I'm being a lot more conscientious now about just like what I'm putting in my body and what I'm using like on my skin and stuff like that. Now that I've done Accutane, probably the worst thing to do to, to your body. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of shocked that my dermatologist was just like, when do you want to do a second round of Accutane? It's like, I don't. And then she pretty much just prescribed me some creams and I never got them filled. Um, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to start changing my diet and I'm going to start exercising regularly and see if that helps. And honestly, so far I stopped getting cysts and I haven't gotten any new ones. Obviously it could be a coincidence, but I really don't think it is. Um, and I also feel a lot. Like, I have a lot more energy. It's really weird. I don't know. But, so yeah. Uh, if I had to do it again, I guess if my whole face was covered and nothing was working, no diet changes, no exercise changes, no creams, then yes, I probably would try it again. But as of right now, I'm not planning on doing it again. Um, do you guys have any questions? Can I see comments? Ah! ask questions. Okay, well I guess I can't see comments because I just left a comment. This is my dog, Archie. I know I'm supposed to be talking about Accutane, but <laughs> nothing else to say about it. My experience on it wasn't that bad. Okay, do derma 
dermatologists help with scars? They can, yeah. Um, mine actually gave me a, a referral to a plastic surgeon, I think. And he does like plastic surgery slash uh, laser scar removal. They can. I haven't found one yet that does everything. Usually they specialize in, like I know mine specializes in acne, but she doesn't specialize in scarring. Um, so I think usually they specialize in one or the other. I haven't found one that does both yet, but I'm sure that they're out there. But yeah, most of the places that I have found have been like a, a laser institute or, um, you know, the needling is like the same thing, like the micro needling they offer at laser institutes as well, because it's like a skin resurfacing or skin remodeling. Yeah, that's what she said to me. She was like, um, what do you want to do for skin remodeling? I was like, wow, way to make me feel like a million bucks. Like, way to make me feel like a monster. Like, I don't want to remodel my face. I just want it to be like a little bit smooth. Jeez. Oh, hey girl. Hey girl. Are there any studies that dairy products cause acne? Yeah, there are actually, cause I didn't believe the diet change thing. Like I didn't believe that at all. Probably a year ago I would have like been laughing in my face, but they did come out with studies probably about, probably about five or six months ago. Yeah, if you Google it, it's the hormone that's in dairy. Your body isn't able to properly process it. So instead of like having an intolerance, you know, where some people get sick to their stomach or like um, have diarrhea, your body actually excretes it in the form of cystic acne. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. But it's your body unable to process, I think, the lactose that's in dairy. Um, are there age restrictions for Accutane? No, there's not age restrictions, I don't think. I know a girl, um, I had actually talked to her about it before I even went on it in one of my classes, and she went on Accutane in fourth grade because her acne was so bad. She was on it from, I think she said, for like four years, from like fourth grade until, I guess, eighth grade? So I don't think there would be age restrictions. But yeah, you should definitely check out, there are tons of studies now about the dairy causing acne. And it's so crazy to me that, um, I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, get down, get down. It's so, it's so crazy to me. <laughs> ah! It's, <laughs> it is so crazy to me that I wouldn't have even have thought of cutting out dairy before and now I'm just like totally against it. Okay, my dogs are going crazy because the mailman's here. Um, have you thought about what else you want to do? Maybe laser, anything else? I can't decide either on what to have. Um, I haven't thought about that yet. I kind of want to wait until, and this is what my dermatologist said too, until like I'm for sure Oh my gosh, can you please be quiet? Hey, go lay down, go lay down, go get in your box. Yes. Um, so she wants to make sure I'm for sure completely clear because she said that if I still have any active lesions that he will not um, do laser or anything like that on me. And plus laser is really, really expensive. And I think if I was going to do something, I'd probably do a professional micro needling because I'm already kind of in a way used to that sensation, I guess, with using the banisher, you know? And I feel like I'd be more comfortable with that because it's using your own body to like recreate the collagen and heal yourself over time. And I've seen people have really, really good results with the microneedling, but last time I was on here and I asked you guys about laser, you said that you had done it and that it didn't work. A lot of you guys said that you felt like lasers were no, um, but I'm still, I guess, weighing my options a little bit. How do I deal with hurtful comments about my acne? Dude, I just laugh. I think it's so funny. I don't know. Um, I really just think it's hilarious that people would say some of the, like you'd be surprised some of the stuff people say. I mean, it's like natural to get upset about it, but if you, <laughs> if you actually read it out loud, like I had this one guy one time that said, um, 
if he said if only you're because I was like wearing a swimsuit I think it was actually on Instagram he said if only your face skin was as smooth as your chest skin and I was like that's mean but that's also really funny that you would even say that like that's really weird um, don't take it to heart uh, that's how I deal with it and just like let it roll off because and then most of the time people are just I don't know they're just like gonna be judgmental anyways and a lot of the times people don't realize what they're saying is hurtful um, another thing I have people say all the time on Instagram is like they'll say oh my god and then they'll tag their friend to like show how bad my skin was and how good it is now and like I feel like people don't realize what they're doing and that it is hurtful so I think the best thing to do is to like humanize yourself so that people realize oh this is a person like she has a real life I am actually saying mean things to a real person because I think when people are behind like a computer screen they feel like they can say whatever and that it doesn't matter because it's just it's out there and like especially I notice because it okay so I would have like a hundred followers and I would never ever get a mean comment and then as soon as I kept getting more the more that you get the more people feel like they can say whatever because they think that you're not gonna read it but I still read it and I still see you um, but yeah the best way to deal with it is just to let it roll off because they don't matter if they're being mean to you dude I always say this doc the doctor so Seuss quote but it's so true um, yeah, if they mind, they don't matter, and if they matter, they don't mind. So, or wait, maybe it was the opposite. I don't know. Just don't, honestly, don't let it get to you. You won't have acne forever, and your acne doesn't define you. Um, you are beautiful regardless, and if they can't see that, and if they are just judging you based on that, they are not worth your time. When did I start noticing acne age? Um, so I would like throughout high school, I would always get like a pimple or two, but they're mostly like whiteheads. I never really had blackheads. I really never had like issues with my pores or anything like that. But as soon as I turned 20 was like when I started getting cystic spots. And that's when I started noticing a little bit of scarring as well. I remember I had just like a little bit right here. And I was like, oh my God, that's so bad. Why does it look so horrible? And now I'm like, I wish I could take that back. Like, I wish I had that back. I'm so mad at myself. You know what I mean? But yeah, I guess throughout high school, like I would get, you just be quiet. The mailman's gone, okay? Throughout high school, I would get like, you know, the spot or two, but then yeah, my 20s, it was like my whole face and it literally happened like in a couple of months. I have no clue. I didn't have I didn't have any diet changes. I didn't have any face wash, hair, skin, like nothing, literally nothing changed. I've been using all the same stuff forever. Nothing changed. So, I have no clue. I was I've been on the same birth control for like since I was 16, so for a pretty long time cuz a lot of people were like, "Oh, hormones, hormones." And I'm like, "But my hormones have been pretty constant, so I'm not sure if that's what it is or not." But I've told you guys before that my dad had, apparently, my mom said, I don't know, I don't know if you're watching dad, apparently she said that you had bad acne when you were like 20 to 21, like before you guys met. So I think that that might be where I get it from because he, I've never seen him have a spot. So I guess he had it really bad for a while and then it just completely went away. Hopefully, you know, it's just genetic and that is what happened to me too. But we will have to wait and see because only time will tell. Um, you guys, can you, do you not see like, bef okay, so like compared to last month, I feel like my skin looks so different from not eating dairy. Like I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably crazy, but I feel like it looks super glowy, like super glowy. Yes. What else can I say about Accutane? Um... I don't know. It is a really, it's a really hard decision to make. Um, like I said before, like I wasn't something that I wanted to do. I didn't want to go on it, but because it was so bad and it was scarring so quickly, that's why I decided to do it. 
You guys have any more questions about Accutane? I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> I feel like I said everything pretty quick. Do you guys have any questions about my dog? Come here! Eddie! Hello! Okay. So, I've never ran out of time like this before. I really. I guess I could talk about what else I've been doing on my skin. Um, so, post Accutane, you guys know I've been using the Banish products. This past month, because I had that bad cystic breakout, I wasn't able to derma roll only once. So,. And I could only use like the pen stamp in certain places. So I'm not expecting like that big of results this month. But I have still been using the pumpkin enzyme mask and the charcoal clay mask. And you guys, I don't know what it is about the pumpkin mask. But whenever I'm breaking out, it just helps my skin so much. It literally just dries everything up. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a good exfoliator on your skin. But it really does help. It works. It works, faux show. Sure. Um, oh yeah. So post Accutane, the only, I guess, side effect or thing that I've had happen is that, and it's, it's a lot better now. It's like pretty much almost back to normal. Uh, my skin or my hair fell out, like half of it, I would say. Or maybe not half, maybe like one third. It used to be like super, super, super thick. And then it got kind of thinner. I was probably losing like, like two handfuls maybe every time I took a shower. Um, but for that, I instead I started using like only cold water on my hair and then only brushing it like once I had, you know, like a leave-in conditioner in it. And I used a wet brush. I don't know if you guys have used those. It's like the WET, but it's meant for detangling. Um, and that helped my hair loss like cut back a lot like I don't lose hair I mean I do lose hair but I don't lose as much as I was losing um advice for hormonal acne that's like the hardest that's what I'm still dealing with um I guess I heard uh and I think Banish actually posted something about this I've heard drinking two different types of teas I heard spearmint tea can be good for it, like drinking spearmint tea. I don't know if it's just on your cycle or if it is every day of the month, but that is supposed to be good for it. And then I also heard, I think it's nettle, nettle leaf tea um, is also supposed to be good for it. But mine, I mean, I have hormonal acne too, and I wish I could tell you, girl, I wish I could, but Nothing, I mean, I haven't really found anything that works on mine so far. Um, I'm probably gonna definitely try the spearmint tea. And I'm also thinking that cutting back on dairy will probably cut back on my hormonal breakouts since I won't have as many hormones in my body. But you know what, who knows? Who knows, only time is gonna tell, girl. I wish I could give you better advice, but that is literally like what I'm struggling with too. <laughs> My lips are so chapped. Mm. That's a good question. How much does it cost for Accutane? So that is gonna be depending on um, where you live and your insurance, if your insurance covers it. I know a lot of insurances won't cover it or they will make you prove that you tried like three different things like send in literal proof that you tried these things before they will let you have Accutane. Um, I will tell you how much mine costs and I know it's not time wise and money wise, it's not doable for everyone. So because you have to do like, I mean it didn't take long for the eye pledge, but you also have to go in and wait and get your blood work done. You have to schedule a dermatologist appointment and you have to go pick up your medicine. That's like almost a whole day's 
worth of like work of doing stuff of waiting a dermatologist for like an hour or two waiting to get your blood drawn for like an hour or two and then the pharmacy for like an hour or two um but so i will say that dermatologist appointment for me cost and this is each month fifty dollars the um blood work each month cost thirty dollars and then so we're already at 80 and then the prescription for me each month costs sixty dollars so a hundred hundred and forty each month was how much accutane cost me um and that's pretty like cheap for some people i thought that was kind of expensive uh but before they had my insurance in i can tell you how much it is without insurance because i went to pick it up and they were like oh okay it's gonna be it was 679 dollars for one month of accutane without insurance and i was like nope <laughs> so like, here you go here's my insurance card and then it went down to 60 which obviously is way better but um yeah i guess the ticket price on it is 679 dollars per month and i don't know if you guys know this or not but accutane actually and this is, is kind of confusing to me. Accutane, like the name brand Accutane is discontinued like Ro Roche, Roche Pharmaceuticals. Like they don't make it anymore at all. Um, it's been discontinued for a long time, but they make like the knockoff version of Accutane, which is like, it's just like applesauce and Kroger brand applesauce. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so they make like the Zenitane, Clarivis, Myso, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mysoranian, Mysoran, um, and then there's another one too, but they're all like the same thing as Accutane, but they just don't make like the name brand anymore. How to deal with depression when you see that acne does not seem to improve, just getting worse. Um, all that you honestly can do is try, like try your, I know it's hard, but try your best to stay positive and just keep telling yourself that you're doing all that you can. A big thing for me, and it's funny because I'm on <laughs> the live right now. A big thing for me is social media because I feel like we're always comparing ourselves to other people. And like we see these like glamorized pictures and celebrities and this and that. So I would like stay off social media has helped me like incredible amounts, incredible. Um, and... Oh, girl, you're fine. You're fine. Your English is good. Um, but yeah, try like staying off social media. Just get out there and live your life, and don't let a few bumps like ruin your day or ruin your time. Because first of all, who's gonna like if somebody really comes up and says something to you about it, like it? I would be shook because one, that's not their business. Two, how rude. And three get out of my face like you don't know me <laughs> I don't know but um yeah just try to keep like be positive as much as possible don't focus on it and know that it will eventually go away it's just temporary like there's physically cannot stay there forever it can't I promise it cannot stay there forever and then another thing that's helped me as well with that is like because I used to feel the same way like it wasn't improving and that's why I started taking the monthly pictures to track my progress so you could try that too I just wouldn't do it every day because then you might start expecting like too much of yourself maybe like take weekly pictures you know that costs more than a microdermabrasion a month yeah I'm sure it does I think uh, yeah there's a microdermabrasion at my work that's like I think it's like 110 a month so yeah I've heard of people using that for acne scars too, microdermabrasion. Have you done that? Because I like, I tried looking it up and it doesn't like say that it's an acne scar treatment, but people have told me like very many times that they've used it for their acne scars and that it's worked really good. Let me know if you used it. As a treatment or nah or nah how did I make my bun move that was so weird oh my god is my head moving okay well what else can I say 
yeah, don't let your acne depress you. Don't let it get you down. Like, at the end of the day, it is just bumps on your skin. I know you, like, wake up to it every day in the mirror looking at yourself, but be thankful that you have your, like, if you do, like, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful, like, I'm thankful that I have my sight. I'm thankful that I can walk. I'm thankful that I live in a house. Like, at the end of the day, acne is just acne and like it will go and stressing about it and being depressed honestly only makes it worse and just know that you're beautiful because you are and I'm wearing this uh, because I'm about to go work out so <laughs> in case you're wondering why I look very sporty spice so I don't know if there's anything else I have left to say about Accutane um, yeah, I guess the side effects are just, you know, mostly drying out everything and, aw, thank you. I don't know, I, I don't know why I'm so positive. People say that, but I just am very smiley, I think. <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, Accutane basically is supposed to cure your acne for life. A lot of people do relapse, which is probably what I'll talk about next time about what I've been doing since my relapse. I've talked a little bit about it this time, but I kind of want to like make sure that it's working like 100%, you know what I mean? So, thank you guys so much for talking to me and it's been real. Bye!